Hi everyone and welcome to today's video. Today's lesson is about Jesus inviting us to follow him and knowing that he has a very unique relationship with each of us. But before we listen to this lesson, let's first sing a song together. His blood has covered my sin I believe I believe My shame is taken away My pain is healed in His name I believe I believe covered my sin I believe I believe my shame is taken away my pain is healed in his name I believe I believe I'll raise the banner you enjoyed that song with us. Today's story we read in John 21. This is a story about Jesus and Peter. Peter was one of Jesus's disciples. Peter really loved Jesus. He protected him and in certain situations he even came up for Jesus. Peter and Jesus was in conversation just before this piece that we are going to read now. And in this conversation, Jesus asked Peter a few times, does he love him? Jesus also asked Peter to follow him. So now let's read this story in John 21. I tell you the truth. When you were young, you were able to do as you liked. You dressed yourself and went wherever you wanted to go. But when you are old, you will stretch out your hands and others will dress you and take you where you don't want to go. Jesus said this to let him know by what kind of death he would glorify God. Then Jesus told him, follow me. Peter turned around and saw behind them the disciple Jesus loved. The one who had leaned over to Jesus during the supper and asked, Lord, who will betray you? Peter asked Jesus, What about him, Lord? Jesus replied, If I want him to remain alive until I return, what is that to you? As for you, follow me. Hi guys, I'm Peter. Can I tell you about the conversation I had with Jesus? You can read about it in John 21. So I'm one of Jesus' disciples. That means I follow him. And I want to be like him. You know, because he is pretty awesome. You guys can be his disciple too, you know. Yep, if you choose to love him and listen to him, you are also his disciple. Well, I love Jesus and I've always wanted to protect him. I once took a soldier in the garden wah, wah, to protect Jesus. But Jesus stopped me because he knew he had to go to the cross. Anyway, Jesus and I we're talking one day, after he rose from the grave. Next level stuff, right? He asked me 
three times if I love him. Of course I do. Very, very much so. And he asked me again to follow him. So here was Jesus explaining to me how I would follow and glorify him with my life. While we were talking, I saw John. Jesus really loved him. John was the disciple who asked Jesus who would betray him. I started thinking, Jesus is teaching me and talking to me about my life. What about him? Have you ever looked at other people and wondered what their relationship with Jesus is like? Maybe you then felt not good enough. Or maybe you felt that you're doing much better than him or her. Maybe you've looked at your friends or parents and then started thinking, you're not doing things right or maybe they aren't. Maybe you've wondered if Jesus is going to ask the same thing from others too. Jesus answered me with the question, what does it have to do with you? Almost like it isn't my business. And then I realized that it isn't helpful to compare our relationship with Jesus to others. You follow Jesus. Don't decide what other people's relationship with Jesus should look like. Don't think it's less or more special. Your relationship with God is very special. Maybe you talk to Jesus about things that others don't. You get to know Him in a unique way. He journeys with each of us differently. Your relationship with Jesus is not the same as anyone else's. You can discover who He is to you. What an exciting journey. I know it was for me. Well, there you have it. Your relationship with Jesus is so unique and so special. Only you have that relationship with Him. And Jesus invites us all to follow Him, to walk this journey with Him. So when you go into this week, remember that. Remember that your relationship is unique and special. So I hope you experience that specialness, that uniqueness every day with Jesus. May you have a lovely week and we hope to see you next week. Bye.